are headed to the escape room. And we don't know where the hell it's at. Is it this one? No. Oh, it's right here. Oh, it is. Oh, there's nobody here. I'm so scared. You think they'll let me record in there? Okay, let's go. I'm so scared. Hi. Hi, Kara. Hi. Do you feel like I'm Yes. Jennifer? Have you guys ever played here before? No. no. <laughs> better. You guys have a great room today. Oh, okay. So before I get to the start of the night, I'm going to have to have you two sign in. You okay. can do that on these tablets that are right here. You'll click them on at the bottom and then swipe up. If there's a little thing on their screen that says next guest, you'll hit that. If okay. Awesome. And I will offer to you, do either of you need to use the restroom? Yes. I want to give it a shot beforehand? Yeah. Oh, okay. Follow this hallway all the way down and go through the very last door. Okay, okay thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I don't know why. Oh my god, this looks scary. <laughs> why? <laughs> it's all like stark white. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna pee. <laughs> First room I ever played before I started working here. It's actually the first escape room I've ever, ever done. This is the best one to start Really? With. Really? It has a really fun storyline, and as you start finding things in the room, it ex it kind of walks you through that storyline. So you get a little bit more invested in the room oh, okay. than you would if you wouldn't pick any of the other rooms. Oh, okay. oh so cool. This one's a lot of fun, and it doesn't have too many locks, which is going to be nice. Oh, okay. okay, cool. And we're kind of detectives, so I think we got this. <laughs> I have full confidence. <laughs> Hopefully. Before I'll take you in, I'm going to cover kind of basic ground rules. I'm going to show you the locks that are in the room. That's why you know what they look like, how to use them. Once that's covered, I'll give you your quick scenario and let you get started. Okay. Cool. I start off, I just ask. I'm going to lead you down this hallway over here. Are you so nervous? Yes. <laughs> You're going to be in this room right over here. And welcome to his office. Ooh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Also, while you're in here, I like to just let you know this room's yours. You can put your personal belongings wherever you'd like. I do see a lot of people like to put them up here just so they're out of the way, but that much is up to you. Okay. Up there is that TV screen. Very shortly, you're going to see a timer pop up, and then I'm going to send you an example noise. It sounds like a phone ringing. If you ever hear that in the room, it's me getting a hold of you. Okay. So just look up there. But Other than that, feel free to start searching as soon as the door closes. Thank you. Have fun. Okay. Here. I'm so nervous. Everything has locks. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I found something and it has it's like a a memo. Christina. Hold on. 
Do you think this means something? I don't know. Should we just leave this right? Hold on. What? C3 and C4, they have numbers. But that means this is four. Hold on, but it, this one's three and six. So th these don't have numbers. Jen! What? what? C. 
Let me try the. So, one, two, that one's done, and this one was. Okay. Ooh, queen. Wait, queen. Okay, hold on. It's not it. Um, queen song. Right, Brooke? A1, A1. Huh? This one's A1. A1 is right there. Where? Oh, no, no. This is A2. This is A1. Okay. So, why look? This one has to say something. This has to mean something. White queen. What if what if this is pointing to numbers? Eight. C eight? No, but then B goes down. So what if it's eight? Eight. A what number is there numbers on there? No. Eight. Eight. What is B in? Eight. Let me try eight. number code plus number code plus number so what if it's well, we need these right c1 or c1 we have we need another code well they're gonna be in the locks <laughs> okay five two one eight what if it's the i right, to try two, that one oh, no. Okay. This has to mean something. A1. So you said this is A1? Huh? You said. Oh no, I think it Just so we can know. White Rook. Code name White Rook. It has a map here. You think that means anything? Is this in Texas? Is this supposed to be in Texas? What? This, like. Texas and Iowa. Texas and Iowa. Why work? I'm so stressed out. Okay. 
this what do you think this means? And what's the tab? On the tab. What are the dates on there? Did it say? Um, one, 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 twenty nineteen. Wait, twenty nineteen, twenty nineteen. That's like twenty twelve. <laughs> oh no, that's twenty nineteen. Okay, hold on. Yes. Oh, what? right here. Okay. What? The the maps. So it says Austin, Texas, White Rook. Okay. I don't know what a white rook is. This is a rook. Okay. Austin right here. Okay. Austin, Texas. White knight. With a knight. The horse, the white horse. Okay. Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Right here. <gasps> it's <gasps> open. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Good job, Addie. Here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. So we'll put this okay, back. Okay, this is C5. Okay, B1. Okay, so let me read this one. Field report to Roger Knight. The local FBI has given him an up. Do you think this has something to do with this? That's a yeah. clock. clock. What does that say? T V D E S. That doesn't mean anything. Oh, oh okay, this way. K W H I T. Do you think that's a password to something? Ha, behind board. Wait, wait, wait. What? Ha, height board. Board. Okay. The things are gonna have to mean something. The A, B, C, and D. So. Username M Rock B2. I don't know. You need to open these. I know. 1379. What if we turn 9731? D1, right here. Okay. I wonder if we put all of them together. If that makes sense. If that makes sense, like. All of those, oh my god. He said he had to pull straight. Yes. I feel like that's a clue. But I wonder what that means. The. Let's open another one. Let's see what we can find. Okay. 
Okay, so one seven one three seven nine. One three seven nine. Like I feel like it means something. Okay, so maybe it will be here because those are only right no, three, zero. Six. no but try three six twenty one like three six twenty one no nope Okay, what are the yellow 1379 mean? Huh? I want to know what this means. You need 1379. I already put that in here to see if it, if it brought anything up, but it didn't. Region name. Let me see. Alberta? Canada? Yeah, I already put that. <laughs> I'm so upset. Okay. Let's was last seen in Texas, right? Alright, unless... Um, it says right there, I think it is Texas. What was the code again for the thing? No. You want me to do it again? But where did well, I get how did you put it that way? Oh, though? I did it like through the number. So one. Oh. Do you want me to do it again? One, three. Where's three? Where's three? Oh, it's probably one of those. Seven, nine. Seven, nine. Seven, nine. Wait. That's not how I had done it. So try five, five.
here. Okay, so E1, E4, E5. E4. E5. E5. Okay. Here. E3. I have a lead pointing to coordinates in Alberta, Canada. Reported tracings from tractor cameras footage of the vehicle parked by a structure in the middle of nowhere. Either this is where they took her, or this is how further operations. Either way, I might be able to track them down if I go there myself. So that's where he's probably at. After an extended flight and long drive, I found the building. It is clear that they this one here and they left in a hurry. We all went up into the police regarding the plan and what it is. facility run by someone named Cal. They are only interested in finding where that facility is. Someone named Cal? Or someone? That one's one. Okay, so we're missing E. Wait, what's this? E. Up? This is F1, so we have there's nothing in the goes in code this way you think or maybe it's following no. so what if this one's first so okay let's do four or it's you have to wait 30 seconds i think it's been 30 seconds but no it's not yet it's... i think it's uh, maybe it goes this way like in order i don't know five four it's still not going oh my god have two locks to go. It's still not working, Addy. Okay. experience ever we did good huh Jen? yeah we did <laughs> we got like what like i think if we had two more seconds we would have figured it out yeah two seconds we just missed that first but we missed clue. one last clue like the the main like one. the main clue like by two seconds like seriously if we had two seconds more we would have like mm -hmm. got it but it was so much fun i'm exhausted so if you haven't tried it you need try to try it. it yeah an escape room but like this one was so much fun. We did such a good job. <laughs> For being just two people, Yeah. they said like nobody, like everybody comes in groups and it was just us two and we like did a great job. Mm -hmm. So I'm proud of us. Where are we going next? I don't know. Home. I'm hungry. Are you? Yeah. I just got home. I'm so tired. You guys, that was the coolest experience ever. I highly recommend that. Um, it was just two of us, but I guess they were saying that, like, you can go in, like, groups of, like, more people. I want to say I saw something about, like, groups of six. Um, and they told us we did such a good job for just being a group of two. And we were, like, a second away from finishing the whole thing. Like, there was a code. We, we put it in and it wasn't, 
It was supposed to be a four digit code and we put in three digits. So we were missing the first number from that code. So if you guys go pay so much attention, we like missed it because we weren't paying attention to like the numbers that we were supposed to pay attention to. But it was so much fun. I, like I said, I'm exhausted. It was so tiring. And it was just the coolest experience. Audrina says she really wants to go next time. So I'll probably take her next weekend. And that'll be fun for her. And there's, I think there's like a kid-friendly one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. And hit that thumbs up, please. I will see you guys on the next video.